Welcome to Module 2 of the Troop Cookie Coordinator Training. In this module, you will learn best practices for holding a Troop Family Meeting prior to the start of the Cookie Program, as well as how the Family Guide can be a resource for your meeting. There is a brief quiz at the end of this module, and you are encouraged to take notes. Keep an eye out for the green star, which indicates an answer you may need for a quiz question. The Troop Family Meeting is your opportunity to bring Girl Scouts together with their parents and guardians to share their goals and what they want to do with the funds raised from the Cookie Program, as well as share important Cookie Program information. Troop leaders should work with girls to set goals for the entire Girl Scout year. If your troop leader has not yet set goals, please partner with your troop leaders to facilitate a goal setting session prior to the Family Meeting. You can find tools like the Smart Goals Worksheet on gscookiesetc.org. We highly recommend holding an in-person family meeting because everyone will hear the same information and questions can be answered all at once, saving you from having to answer emails later. Plus, it allows your Girl Scouts to shine. At your family meeting, let the girls take the lead in sharing their goals with the troop families. Provide parents with important cookie program information using the Family Guide as a resource. Recruit parents to be your troop helpers. And have parents sign the parent responsibility form on the back of the Family Guide. To prepare for your family meeting, take time to read the family guide before you and the girls make your parent presentation. Page 10 of the Troop Plan Book provides more tips and ideas for preparing for your meeting. Let your girls pick out a few bullet points to share with their parents and guardians. Your girls should set both individual and troop goals for what they'd like to learn and how much they want to sell. Make sure each girl can tell her parents and her customers how the troop will use the proceeds they earn. Practice makes perfect. As a troop cookie coordinator, it's important for you to know that troops may not set quotas or require payment from parents in advance. Each girl sets her own goal with her family. The troop should have goals, but cannot set a required amount each girl must sell. Now, please pull out your copy of the Family Guide, and let's highlight some key points to share with your parents and girls. Provide each family with a copy of the Family Guide and the Girl Rewards Flyer received from your Service Unit Materials Coordinator. You can also download a copy from gscookiesetc.org slash cookies under resources and forms. If parents don't live together and each is helping their daughter, give each parent their own copy to sign. Begin by introducing the mascot and theme for this year's cookie program. This year's mascot is Nellie the Narwhal, and we are challenging girls to inspire, imagine, and innovate. Next, highlight the cookie mailing for girls will arrive in mid-January. Explain that this cookie mailing will include their girls' cookie order form, a money envelope, and the GSOC cookie guide for girls, which contains helpful selling tips and tools. Highlight when the cookie registration email will arrive. Ask parents to add no reply at abcsmartcookies.com to their safe senders list and watch for the email so their daughter can get started in setting up her online cookie business. Also, highlight the cookie program start date. Share with parents that business ethics is one of the five skills girls learn in our cookie program, and that means girls should not sell or take orders before the program begins. If girls want to get a head start, they can remind friends and family that cookies are coming. One idea is for the parent to post a cookie countdown on their Facebook page letting friends and family know when their Girl Scout can take orders and make deliveries. They'll be teaching her marketing skills and business ethics. Choose a specific date in February when your troop will require families to turn in funds to the troop, perhaps coinciding with a troop meeting. Let parents know that after you pass out their initial cookies, you will collect money before issuing more cookies. This would also be a good time to tell parents the troop's decision about accepting checks. Parents with a smart device and a card reader may allow their Girl Scout to accept credit cards from customers, provided the fee is not passed on to the customer. Next, introduce your families to this year's cookie lineup. Please turn to page one of the Family Guide for information about our Girl Scout cookies. You will also find information in the Troop Plan Book, and nutritional information can be found on the order card, on abcbakers.com, and on gscookiesetc.org slash cookies. Did you know that all of our Girl Scout cookies are kosher and five of our cookies are vegan? All cookies in Orange County, including our new caramel chocolate chip gluten-free cookie, retail for $5 per package. The caramel chocolate chip cookie is in very limited supply. If your troop did not order the gluten-free cookie in September, your girls will only be able to sell this variety online or by trading with another troop. Girls sell cookies by the package, and troops order cookies by the case. There are 12 packages in a case of cookies. Please be aware that when girls receive their order cards in January, you will notice there is a new Proposition 65 warning on the order card. You've likely seen Proposition 65 statements at various restaurants and establishments that carry food. 
The warning will appear on the Girl Order Card, the Girl Rewards Flyer, and the licensed vendor websites for directly shipped and girl-delivered orders sold in California. With few exceptions, the chemicals in food that appear on the Proposition 65 list are not intentionally added to food. They are picked up from the soil or formed during cooking or other processes. It is required that Prop 65 warning be displayed at all troop and parent-daughter booth sales. Girl Scouts of Orange County will provide troops with resources to accommodate this requirement. More information about the Proposition 65 warning can be found on the FAQs page on gscookiesetc.org slash cookies. Ask your families, which cookies are tax deductible and calorie free? Then have the girls answer, cookie share. The cookie share program allows girls to learn about philanthropy while participating in our council sponsored service project. Customers purchase virtual cookies to be donated to Second Harvest Food Bank and the military. All cookie share purchases are tax deductible because the customer doesn't eat them, they treat them. Girls should ask every customer if they would like to purchase cookies for donation. Then, if they do, write their order on their order card, collect $5 per donation, and provide the customer with a special cookie share receipt instead of a box of Girl Scout cookies. Cookie share is a great option for customers who don't want to eat cookies themselves. Girls will find cookie share receipts in their cookie guide for girls packet and can print more from gscookiesetc.org slash cookies under resources and forms. On page 5 of your troop plan book, highlight under number 3 the words cookie share receipts so you don't forget. Troops order cookie share online using the virtual cookie share choice. Girls will receive credit towards rewards, including a special cookie share patch for 15 or more packages of virtual cookie share sold. And troops receive proceeds just like any other cookie variety. Girl Scouts of Orange County then delivers the cookies after the program ends. Customers can also order cookie share online through our direct ship option. There are no shipping charges, only a small handling fee per order. Girl Scout troops who choose their own organization to receive cookie share donations must follow the guidelines on the donation agreement form and receive approval prior to the end of the cookie program. Visit gscookiesetc.org slash cookies for resources for troops own cookie share. You will find more information about cookie share on page 5 of the troop plan book. Next, on page 1 of the family guide, review the three ways Girl Scouts sell cookies in Orange County with their order card, door-to-door -door with cookies in hand at booth sales and in group walkabouts, and online to family and friends using the ABC Smart Cookies platform and app. Make sure parents understand that while girls may sell door-to-door -door in OC residential areas, they need permission to sell anywhere else. The only time girls may sell outside of the OC zip codes are to family members and at parents' workplaces to coworkers, not customers, or online to family and friends using abcsmartcookies.com. A great selling technique to share with your troop is how ABC Smart Cookies app allows girls to access the online order form if they run out of a variety. To set up their online store, families can click on the link in their girl registration email. If a family did not receive the email, troops can resend the registration email. Girls can also watch a video on ABC Smart Cookies to learn more about setting up their own online cookie business. Explain to parents and guardians that cookie customers can purchase any quantity or variety of packages online, including an 8-pack sampler and that online purchases include shipping and handling fees. New this year, customers have the opportunity to purchase a gift box filled with five cookie packages of their choosing and a personalized message. Girls will receive the online patch for selling 12 or more packages of cookies online through the direct ship option. As girls prepare to sell online, it's important to explain Girl Scout guidelines for using social media to their parents and guardians. While online marketing is encouraged, for safety purposes, online sales activities, especially those conducted through social media platforms, should always be done through accounts set to private and only accessible by family and friends. Girls' contact information, sales links, or sales information should not be marketed or shared on public-facing sites. Finally, Highlight where the cookie money goes chart on page one of the family guide. Share how all of the net revenue raised by the cookie program stays in Orange County to support programs and activities that benefit local Girl Scouts. Have your girls spotlight how they've benefited from going to a council sponsored camp, STEM activity, program center, or badge workshop. Page two of the family guide is where you will share what the girls learn through the Girl Scout cookie program and why it matters. Point out the five skills goal setting, decision making, money management, people skills, and business ethics, and share how the cookie program is an opportunity for girls to earn and learn. They earn funds for their Girl Scout activities while learning key skills that will help them in business and life. Then let your girls take the lead. Have the girls share their troop goals, 
how the girls made their decisions, and their plans for using the troop proceeds they hope to earn. Let your Girl Scouts show off their people skills, teamwork, and enthusiasm for the program. Ask your girls to pick out a few bullet points they will be using from the Tips for Girls section on page 2 of the Family Guide, such as wearing their Girl Scout uniform, which will make them stand out as Girl Scouts and help them sell more cookies to reach their goals. Please remind parents and guardians that they also play an important role in the cookie program and are role models for our entire Girl Scout organization. This would be a good opportunity for your girls to recite the Girl Scout law and share our Girl Scout values with their parents. As Troop Cookie Coordinator, you are empowered to train other adults to assist your troop. Make your job easier by encouraging parents to get involved. Point out ways that they can serve in the troop helper role, such as helping at booth sales, picking up product at initial delivery or from a cupboard, and helping with sorting and organizing materials to pass out to the girls in January prior to the start of the cookie program. Don't forget, troop helpers must register as Girl Scouts and pass the background screening. Next, give a brief overview of the procedures for booth sales. A booth sale is a cookie stand placed in front of a business, on a street corner, or in any public space. All booth sales must be arranged by the service unit booth sale coordinator. The troop is responsible for reserving booths at your service unit lottery, using the booth sale scheduler in ABC Smart Cookies, and assigning adult helpers to booth sale sites. Explain that all adults participating in booth sales must complete our online booth sale training beginning January 30th, even for parent-daughter booth sales. Tell parents you require a copy of their training completion email before they can help out. Please be familiar with the booth sale guidelines. Adults and girls who do not follow the guidelines for booth sales may not be permitted to participate in future booth sale opportunities. More information, including booth sale guidelines, a booth sale checklist, and tips for better booth sales can be found on gscookiesetc.org slash cookies and in your troop plan book on page 23. Page 3 of the Family Guide highlights some of this year's Girl Rewards items, chosen by Girl Scouts of Orange County Girls. Girls are invited to vote online every June for the upcoming year's rewards lineup. The Family Guide highlights only a few prize levels to show that rewards are cumulative, in addition to highlighting our Council's per girl average goal. During your family meeting, refer parents to the full color rewards flyer, as most of the girl rewards are not pictured in the Family Guide. Explain that cookie dough is not an edible item, it's Girl Scout money. Girls can use cookie dough to purchase items in our council shop or apply it towards Girl Scouts of Orange County or service unit camps, events, travel, the council service fee, and more. See the cookie dough FAQs on gscookiesetc.org slash cookies under resources and forms for more details. Be sure to note the dates on each of the event experiences, the times for each event, as well as the dates for the Savannah Bound with the CEO experience will be shared later during the cookie program. The more a girl sells, the more rewards she earns. Encourage each girl to circle her goal and post it in her room as a reminder. These prizes reward each girl's individual effort. Girls must work together to earn the walkabout patch by going door to door beginning February 21st. This coincides with our Mystery House promotion where girls can earn a special patch for finding the Mystery House. Girls can potentially earn two patches at the same time. Tell parents to be sure to take a photo of the girls selling together. Finally, share how the troop proceeds will reward the entire troop's effort and how the girls plan to use their proceeds. See gscookiesetc.org slash cookies for more details about troop proceeds, girl rewards, walkabout patch, and the Mystery House promotions. The last page of the Family Guide is the Parent Responsibility Form. This form should be torn off, filled out, and handed in to you, the Troop Cookie Coordinator. Please remind families to read before they sign, since this is a legal document. Note that cookies are not returnable. If your troop decides to permit returns or exchanges prior to booth sales, note that you are making an exception to the council's rule. If you make this exception in your troop, be sure to set and emphasize your troop's cookie return deadline. Have families fill out the parent responsibility form and have the girl mark her reward choices on the back. This way you will have the information you need to enter each girl reward choice in the cookie software, including the girl's t-shirt and hoodie size. If parents do not live together and each is helping their daughter with the cookie program, have each parent sign his or her own form. Be sure to give the signed copies to your troop leaders. Your troop leaders will need to keep the signed parent responsibility forms with their important troop paperwork for one year. This concludes Module 2 on hosting a family meeting. There will be a short quiz following this module. Then you may continue to Module 3 when you're ready. If you have questions this training does not answer, we encourage you to reach out to your service unit cookie manager or email us at customercare at girlscoutsoc.org with the subject cookie question. You're also welcome to go back and view this training later.